in a network problem you should check this ICs. that's why the same card slot is near of those ICs. of course you can use a simple method to check this ICs. you can just put your finger in the IC and if you find any IC of those that is overheated that has a very increased temperature means the IC is bad and this small compound over here as you can see is basically APROM this is the APROM for this CPU we call it also the BBM APROM if this APROM is failed you will get a mini robot error message and and your phone will restart automatically when you press the power button hi everyone so welcome again to part two about iphone 8 motherboard components and the most common fault that you can encounter in this kind of motherboard so we have seen in the previous video the side a as you can see over here i have explained to you all these ICs inside A. Now we gonna basically dive in explaining the side B component and integrated circuits. So you gonna understand every component and IC here. And of course, I'm going to teach you the corresponding failure for each IC. So let's get started but please before diving into this tutorial make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell icon because i can only help you if you are subscribed to my channel and please like the video and share it with other friends and people like yourself and for anyone who want to join me in my Patreon page of course i will put this pdf file in my Patreon page where of course you gonna find all details so every i see you gonna find its explanation and the false if for example this one is damaged you gonna find for every part here the explanation so without wasting time let's get started so let's begin from here okay but those basically are connector we're gonna lit connectors until the until the end we're gonna begin first with the ICs and control integrated circuits and then we're gonna discuss all these connectors as you can see here in the motherboards so let's begin here for the circuit as you can see here here basically we have four ICs as you can see so all these ICs basically are for network so if those I see any of those I see if it is damaged you will of course get a no signal and a no network network but every IC here have its purpose for example this is the high band IC and over here we have the low band IC so if any of those IC are damaged you will get no signal and no network so in any network problem you should check this ICs of course you can use a simple method to check this ICs you can just put your finger in the IC and if you find any IC of those that is overheated that has a very increased temperature means the IC is bad that's why the same card slot is near of those ICs okay and over here basically this one is not IC this is the clock crystal this is the crystal for timing and clock so basically the purpose of the clock in every motherboard without the clock or the timing nothing will be working properly the timing or the clock has as a purpose to synchronize the work between all components in the motherboard then basically we have this ic we called it inductor ic okay so this is inductor ic around it we have this cell capacitors we have this big cell capacitor and we have other cell capacitors so basically if this ic is bad or shorted you're gonna find those cell capacitors shorted also so if this inductor IC is damaged means 
no sound, no charging, and no backlights. That's why near of this inductor connector, we have the display and touch connector here. So if this connector also is damaged, no display, no touch in the screen. Then here, as you can see, we have basically one of the most components here in the side B. This is basically the CPU. We called it the BB CPU. So this CPU basically, if failed, if the CPU is failed, you will get some automatic restart and boot up error message. So if this IC failed, we have some symptoms like low sounds, no sounds, we making calls and no signals. And of course, the same in every, of course, I see you gonna find a secondary component, especially ceramic capacitors, as you can see. Why ceramic capacitors? Because here in iPhone motherboard, basically the voltage, the working voltage for any IC here should be exact and accurate voltage. 1.1 is 1.1, not 1.2 or less. So that's why we have a lot of ceramic capacitors in order to filter and smooth and remove the noise in the power or the working power, okay? That's why around every IC, you're gonna find ceramic capacitors. And of course, we use these capacitors in order to check whether this IC is good, is serviceable or not. How? So if, for example, you won't check any IC, you can just check or you won't check the serviceability and the reliability of any IC, you can just check the capacitors around it. If you find any shorted capacitors, capacitor to the ground in both sides means you have a short circuit within the IC because the ceramic capacitors around those IC are connected to the ground. For example, like this one here, we have this IC and also this IC. So this capacitor could be connected to this IC and also to this IC. Here, as you can see, one side is connected to the ground. This is basically the ground over here. Over here, we have the ground and another side to the IC. Okay, all ceramic capacitors you find you will find the same working principle. One side connected to the IC and the other side connected to the ground. And this small component over here, as you can see, the small component over here is basically APROM. This is the APROM for this CPU. We call it also the BBM APROM. If this APROM is failed, you will get a mini robot error message and and your phone will restart automatically when you press the power button it will restart automatically because here basically we have uh, this is the app rom that contain a flash a software a boot up software that is used during post or as we call power on self test before uploading the operation system or the ios so this basically I see is the most important component, the number one here in every iPhone motherboard. This is basically the CPU. Here we have E11 CPU because this is iPhone 8. For other iPhones, we can find A13, A14, etc. So this is the CPU. This is the head of all integrated circuits here in the motherboard. So if this IC or the CPU is faded, the symptoms will be power on failures, boot up error message, some functions will become abnormal, and failure when connecting the phone to the computer. So here basically we have the NFC, as you can see, IC, and over here we have NFC power supply or power regulator IC. So this one, this is basically the camera integrated circuit or control IC around it, as you can see, a lot of ceramic capacitors. Of course, this one, if you have a problem, any critical issue with the camera, this one is the failed 
as of course you can of as i told you before check the seven capacitors around it and over here we have as you can see the compass integrated circuits of course if failed if damaged failure will be occurred in compass so this is basically the phosphorus control if damaged of course you will get some error message about phosphorus component now let's dive in and let's see all these connectors those basically are not ICs. this is just inductors and serum capacitors and some of course resistors okay so now let's dive in and so now let's see the second part those connectors so this is the fingerprint connector. So if you have any failure with, with the fingerprint, you should check this connector. This is the display connector. If you have any failure with the display or the touch screen, you should check whether the connector is in or the, the plug is inserted correctly or not. So over here we have the Wi-Fi connector and this is the battery connector. If the Wi-Fi connector is bad, no Wi-Fi signal. So always check the connector if you have any Wi-Fi issue. So the battery connector. So this one basically this is the dock connection. If the dock connection is failed, you will get a lot of error message. So especially you will get no vibration and no charging. So over here we have basically camera connector. This is for front camera connector and over here we have rear camera connector. And over here we have rear camera connector. So make sure this connection are inserted correctly if you have any issue with cameras in your phone. And the last connector here, this is basically the power button and volumes connector. So if you have any problem with the power button or off or volumes connector, you should check this connector. That's it guys. I hope you understand this video. I do my best to explain to you all ICs and connectors in this motherboard. Please give me the like if you find this video a useful video for you and please share it with your friends and other interested people like you and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because I can only help you if you are subscribed and hit the bell icon in order to be notified for future videos like this one. And please for anyone who want to join me in my Patreon page you are very welcome you will find basically in my patreon page this file with all details okay for any ic you will find the details for example this ic is the cpu a11 this is the discrepancy and the failure for this ic so all ICs and connectors that we have seen here in this motherboard side B and also in this motherboard the side A you will find all details in my Patreon page you can download the file for free of course so thank you very much and see you in the next video with another iPhone model